Hi, my name is Rocky Yap. I'm a gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Good Samaritan Hospital. I've been asked to talk about hepatitis C and some of the new advances in the treatment of hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is a chronic infection of the liver that slowly over time leads to damage and destruction of the liver to cirrhosis and premature death. The CDC estimates there's approximately three to four million people infected with hepatitis C and 15,000 people die every year. It's the number one cause of liver transplant in the country. More people die from hepatitis C than AIDS and hepatitis C is the leading cause of death in AIDS patients. Three to four million people are infected with hepatitis C. That's two percent of the population. Who's at risk for hepatitis C? Well, we know that anyone who had a blood transfusion before 1992 are at increased risk. Healthcare workers who've been exposed or had needle sticks from patients with hepatitis C are also at risk. People who've had tattoos or have experimented with intravenous drugs or nasal drugs also have an increased risk of hepatitis C. Many patients don't have an identifiable risk factor for hepatitis C. And in fact, 75% of patients with hepatitis C don't even know they have it. That's why recently the CDC has recommended that all baby boomers born between 1945 and 1965 have a one-time test for hepatitis C. I'm very proud that Good Samaritan Hospital has been one of the few institutions in the country that actually has been involved with the treatment and development of the new treatment of hepatitis C. In fact, Good Samaritan Hospital is one of the few institutions in Illinois, along with Northwestern University of Chicago, that were involved in the pivotal studies that got the treatment approved. Just this last Friday, hepatitis C treatment was approved for an all oral therapy, representing tremendous advance versus the therapy just a year ago that had severe and profound side effects and had only a 40 to 60 percent success rate. Now we're talking a 90 to 100 percent success rate. The treatment of hepatitis C has been profound and Good Samaritan Hospital has been involved in leading the charge in the new treatments of hepatitis C.